The Java API for XML processing, or JAXP, is one of the Java XML application programming interfaces. It provides the capability of validating and parsing XML documents. The three basic parsing interfaces are, the Document Object Model Parsing Interface or DOM Interface, the Simple API for XML Parsing Interface or SAX Interface, the Streaming API for XML or STAX Interface. In addition to the parsing interfaces, the API provides an XSLT interface to provide data and structural transformations on an XML document. JAXP was developed under the Java Community Processes JSR5 and JSR63. JAXP version 1.4.4 was released on September 3, 2010. JAXP 1.3 was end of life on February 12, 2008. DOM interface, perhaps the easiest part of JAXP to understand, the DOM interface parses an entire XML document and constructs a complete in-memory representation of the document using the classes modeling the concepts found in the document object model, DOM, level 2 core specification. The DOM parser is called a document builder, as it builds an in-memory document representation. The Javax XML parses. Document Builder is created by the Javax XML parses. Document Builder Factory. The Document Builder creates an org W3C DOM document instance, a tree structure containing nodes in the XML document. Each tree node in the structure implements the org W3C DOM node interface. Among the many different types of tree nodes, each representing the type of data found in an XML document, the most important include Element nodes that may have attributes, text nodes representing the text found between the start and end tags of a document element. Refer to the Java doc documentation of the Java package org W3C DOM for a complete list of node types. SAX interface, the Javax XML parses. SAX parser factory creates the SAX parser, called the SAX parser. Unlike the DOM parser, the SAX parser does not create an in-memory representation of the XML document and so runs faster and uses less memory. Instead, the SAX parser informs clients of the XML document structure by invoking callbacks, that is, by invoking methods on an org XML SAX helpers. Default handler instance provided to the parser. This way of accessing document is called streaming XML. The default handler class implements the content handler, the error handler, the tt handler, and the entity resolver interfaces. Most clients will be interested in methods defined in the content handler interface that are called when the SAX parser encounters the corresponding elements in the XML document. The most important methods in this interface are start document and end document methods that are called at the start and end of a XML document. Start element and end element methods that are called at the start and end of a document element. Characters method that is called with the text data contents contained between the start and end tags of an XML document element. Clients provide a subclass of the default handler that overrides these methods and processes the data. This may involve storing the data into a database or writing it out to a stream. During parsing, the parser may need to access external documents. It is possible to store a local cache for frequently used documents using an XML catalog. This was introduced with Java 1.3 in May 2000. STAX interface, STAX was designed as a median between the DOM and SAX interface. In its metaphor, the programmatic entry point is a cursor that represents a point within the document. The application moves the cursor forward pulling the information from the parser as it needs. This is different from an event-based API, such as SAX, which pushes data to the application, requiring the application to maintain state between events as necessary to keep track of location within the document. XSLT interface, the XML style sheet language for transformations, or XSLT, allows for conversion of an XML document into other forms of data. JAXP provides interfaces in package Javax XML Transform allowing applications to invoke an XSLT transformation. This interface was originally called TRX, and was developed by an informal collaboration between the developers of a number of Java XSLT processes. 
Main features of the interface are, a factory class allowing the application to select dynamically which XSLT processor it wishes to use, transform a factory new instance, Java Lang string, Java Lang class loader, methods on the factory class to create a templates object, representing the compiled form of a style sheet. This is a thread safe object that can be used repeatedly, in series or in parallel, to apply the same style sheet to multiple source documents. Also, transformer factory new transformer, Javax XML transform. Source, transformer factory new transformer, a method on the templates object to create a transformer, representing the executable form of a style sheet. This cannot be shared across threads, though it is serially reusable. The transformer provides methods to set style sheet parameters and serialization options, and a method to actually run the transformation. Two abstract interfaces source and result are defined to represent the input and output of the transformation. This is a somewhat unconventional use of Java interfaces, since there is no expectation that a processor will accept any class that implements the interface. Each processor can choose which kinds of source or result it is prepared to handle. In practice all JAXP processors support the three standard kinds of source and the three standard kinds of result and possibly other implementations of their own. Example, the most primitive but complete example of XSLT transformation launching may look like this. It applies the following hard-coded XSLT transformation to the following hard-coded XML document. The result of execution will be References External links, JAXP support in Java 7, Oracle's JAXP product description, JAXP reference implementation project homepage, JSR 63, JSR 5, document object model, DOM, level 2 core specification, sample programs using the DOM and SACS parser tutorial, XML with sources for Java, Sun's Java and XML APIs, helping or hurting, JAXPTRX Introduction on the Apache XML website